cold calling, something that everyone hates. Anytime I get anywhere close to recommending cold calling, people get sweats and chills and they try to avoid everything. They will say they have no time. And in all reality, they probably don't have time. They will say they have no desire. I flat out had somebody tell me they would rather have their business doors close than have to cold call. Cold calling in and of itself is brutal. So there's a couple ways you can make cold calling easier. Don't try to go for the jugular. Don't try to go for the first appointment and the close of the deal during your first call. Sure, you may be getting the unicorns that might be interested out of the gate, but the likelihood is you're not, and then you're just annoying people and or you're not getting the decision maker anyway. So make sure you have a legitimate reason to call, but don't necessarily make it to close the entire deal. We like to start with qualification calls. Those qualification calls get the email addresses and allow us to move down the funnel. But let's say you are just morbidly opposed to cold calling. How do you get around it? How can you build your lead list any other way? You can start with networking. Make sure you've got your 60 second elevator pitch where you're really generating that interest. And the 60 second elevator pitch is not, I'm such and such from such and such and we do this. It's how you turn the conversation around to talk about the customer. Make sure you've got your ads in line. You're using Google ads, you're using Facebook ads, you're building those things up. And make sure you're having events that are open to the public where you can invite other people. Know that purchasing a lead list and just biting the bullet and doing the cold calls is one of the fastest ways forward. But if that's just not in the cards for you, make sure you're marketing in another way. Simply because you don't wanna pick up the phone is not an excuse not to market.